Hey guys, this is Joey at DroidDog.com and today we're going to be taking a look at Chameleon Launcher Beta for uh, on my Nexus 7 here and uh, Chameleon Launcher it's made by I believe it's pronounced uh, Technician they are a uh, software development group and it's a new launcher UI that uh, I don't know what the exact ETA is but they had a whole Kickstarter and they raised all the funds they needed so uh, now, now we were able to get a beta code thank you for the people at Technician so first we're just going to take a basic look at it. There's uh, three home screens which if you tap right here on the left it shows all three and you can of course edit them from right here. And you've got edit layout, edit connections, you can click your various uh, things down here. And uh, so we're going through and then if I wanted to I could uh, add another one. Well here actually, we're going to take a peek here. So you have a home one, a travel one, and a work. All these separate home screens for uh, basically the different different needs that you may face every day. And so then I just click to add a new one. I can rename it. Let's say we will make this one um, play. So this one is now called play tap to rename because I uh, screwed that up. But then we'll go into this one I created right here. You can tap and hold and one thing is that you can't actually add um, you can't add apps to your home screen. You can only change the wallpaper and add widgets. And all the widgets are proprietary. They're um, only available on the Chameleon Launcher and the only ones you can use. Now we have various ones for uh, Facebook, Gmail, Instagram, news, switches, which is you know your basic Wi-Fi toggle, stuff like that, time, Twitter, and YouTube. So let's say we add the, no, actually, we are going to add, uh, we'll add the Gmail one right here and you actually tap on it. I can't believe I forgot that. Now another thing you can do is that you completely resize it to let's say I want it on the complete home screen here. Resized it like that. So now it's across the whole thing and I'm not actually going to add any accounts but you can see no unread email. And it does give this illusion of uh, transparency. So this is actually the widgets taking up the whole screen but it does not appear so because uh, there's nothing in there right now. So right here, like I have the Twitter widget where I scroll all around and it's still got that transparency and it looks really good. You can choose between, another thing that I noticed that's proprietary just like the widgets is that the wallpapers, you can't bring your own wallpaper. You can, uh, oh actually maybe we can here, no. But you can tap uh, wallpapers. You can choose between various wallpapers that chame uh, chameleon that's included with chameleon. Like right here, there's this one, and they're all very. Uh, they're just various color ones. There's nothing too extravagant. There's not a mountain view or jelly beans or anything like that. Sadly enough, but another thing is that you can have this dock of apps right here, up to five apps. So the apps that I use most are Plume, Chrome, Settings, Play Store, and Gmail. And then for each different home screen, you can add a different five, although it's not as convenient. I wish that you could actually add apps, but it's uh, made me more widget reliant that I can sometimes, I'll actually just check Twitter from a widget, which I don't typically do. And I mean, I have my switches and my email right here, so unread emails, I can, you know, take a peek and then go into Gmail as necessary. So then there's the actual app drawer itself right here, which is uh, very uh, similar to the stock Android one, if not the same. I mean, you still just got this dock down here, but you swap through. Uh, there's no widgets tab up there or anything. But I'm going to have to say that this is probably the smoothest launcher experience I've ever had on Android. It's always incredibly quick. So here, I unlock it. It's working. It's good to go. I open something like here. I just open the Play Store, loading up, close it and everything is just flying right along. Whereas in even the stock launcher for Jelly Bean, which is incredibly fast, can have a stutter here and there. So I'm gonna have to say that uh, this is my review of the Chameleon Launcher and I'm gonna have to say that I'm gonna keep using it. I've been using it for about a week and a half now and I'm really just loving it. It's a great launcher. It's very smooth. It's made me more widget reliant. I mean, I'll probably switch back in the next week or so to the stock launcher, but for now I'm going to go as long as I can with Chameleon. And this is just the beta. I'm really excited to see what they can do, what the people over at Technician can do. Uh, they've got a great start here. 
And I'd love to see some more widgets, a little more variety, but once it's a finished product, it's definitely something you should check out. So this is Joey Leto with DroidDog.com. Catch you next time.